Hello students. Candidates who perform well in the joint entrance examination that is JEE main will be eligible to register for the joint seat allocation authority or JOSA counseling. The counseling is conducted in order to provide admission across various participating engineering colleges that include 23 IITs, 31 NITs, 23 triple ITs and 23 other GFTIs. JOSA counseling is conducted for all the eligible candidates who have qualified J mains or J advance for admission to centrally funded technical institutes. In today's video, we'll discuss all the important details of JOSA counseling that will include the important dates, registration process, seat allotment process, choice filling, documents required, etc. JOSA counseling also allows candidates to fill up their courses and college preference in the field of engineering. Basis these preferences, they are being allocated seats. The process elaborated in today's video will also help you understand the J main counseling process in detail. So let's begin. Before moving forward, if you are looking for JOSA counseling dates, you can check the video description where you can find the complete details and schedule for JOSA counseling process. Now let us look at detailed registration process for JOSA counseling. The candidates who have qualified for J main or J advanced will have to register themselves in order to participate in the JOSA counseling. The candidates can log in using their exam roll numbers. In order to log in, the candidates can use their J main roll numbers. Although candidates who have cleared J advanced will have to log in using their J advanced roll number. There is no need to fill any other details in order to register as all the personal and academic details of the candidates will be fetched from their J main and J advanced forms respectively. The candidates will be required to update their contact details for JOSA counseling. It is also mandatory to change the password while registering for the counseling process. Now that we are done with registration, let us look at the step by step process that you have to follow in order to perform the choice filling for JOSA counseling. Note that choice filling is a very important process as seat allocation will be done on the basis of preferences that you have filled through choice filling. So make sure that you have complete idea of the process before going for choice filling for JOSA counseling. There are various steps that you will be performing for JOSA counseling choice filling. The very first step is registration for which you will have to visit the official website and click on the link for JOSA registration. The candidates will have to log in to the portal using J main or J advanced application number and password. All the details of the candidates will be fetched from the database, although the students can also modify the information wherever allowed. The candidates can also change their J main or advanced password at the time of JOSA registration. The candidates are advised to note down the password which will be used for further counseling process. After the registration is complete, the candidates will have to exercise the choice filling through which they will have to enter the choices of colleges and courses in which they want to get admission. The candidates can fill as many choices as available to them according to their rank. The choice filling must be done in order of priority which means you have to give the first priority to the college or the course which you want the most and so on. After the JOSA choice filling is completed, the candidates will have to lock their choices before the final date. In case any candidate fails to lock the choices, the choices made will be automatically submitted on the final date. Also note that if you want to make any changes to the choices that you have filled, you can choose the option of choice rearrange or choice interchange to make changes before the final day that is before locking your choices. Also you can use the multiple deletion option if you want to delete multiple choices at a time. Also note that after locking the choices make sure that you take a printout of the choices filled for further references. Now that we are done with choice filling, let us look at 
सीट अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस फॉर जोसा काउंसलिंग जोसा अलॉटमेंट इज कंडक्टेड ऑनलाइन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रेफरेंसेस लिस्ट दैट हैज बीन सबमिटेड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द मेरिट लिस्ट विल बी प्रिपेयर्ड बाय द कंडक्टिंग अथॉरिटी द कैंडिडेट्स हु क्वालिफाई द कट ऑफ क्राइटेरिया दैट हैज बीन सेट बाय जोसा विल बी एडेड टू द जोसा रैंक लिस्ट द रैंक लिस्ट एंड सीट एलोकेशन इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी देन रिलीज्ड ऑनलाइन इन व्हिच इंफॉर्मेशन विल बी गिवन for the seats that have been allocated to the candidates on the basis of their rank as well as preferences filled through choice filling now uh, what is the seat acceptance fee for josa if you have secured a seat through josa counseling you have to make sure that you download the provisional allotment letter along with each allan for the payment of seat acceptance fee the seat acceptance fee for general candidates is 35000 whereas for reserved candidates such as sc st pwd obc and others the fee will be 15000 The seat acceptance fee can be paid either through e-challan or through SBI Net Banking or by using credit debit card. The fee will be included in the semester fees once the student has confirmed the admission. Also note that seat acceptance fee refers to the fee that you pay in order to confirm your seat that has been allocated to the counseling process and it is mandatory for all the candidates who have been allocated seat to pay the seat acceptance fee to confirm their admission. Now uh, there are various documents that you'll be requiring at the time of JOSA counseling which you will have to upload in order to get them verified. These documents include class 12th mark sheet or certificate, class 10th mark sheet, category certificate that is only applicable for reserved candidates. In case of OBC and EWS category candidates the certificate must be issued on or after April 1st of the current year J main admit card original certificate for persons with disabilities that is PWD if applicable that must be issued by the competent authority crossed bank check copy or image of passbook that has bank accounts clearly visible medical certificate in specified format available on josa format oci or pio card if applicable and passport if applicable that's all we hope that this video helped you in getting a complete idea of josa counseling if you still have any queries you can ask me the same through the link that has been provided on your screen you can also check the video description for other important related articles for josa counseling and choice filling for more updates on josa counseling stay tuned to college theko if you like this video do like share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel